But I would guess that all of us would reckon that we probably would not score 100% in this approachability test. But God does. Because he's perfect. And in the address of the Lord's Prayer, Jesus holds out the triune God as Father. Think of me, approach me as Father. Come to me in prayer. I am your Father. Very simple. Sometimes when we're going to approach people, we wonder if that person is having a bad day. Or maybe it's a bad time of the day to call on them. But with the Lord's Prayer, God tells us, I'm your Father, it's never a bad time to come to me, you're my son or daughter, you belong to me, you have a place in my home, anytime you will approach me, because you always have my ear in Jesus Christ. Come, come, believe, draw near, hearken, come to me. And if you say, echoes here of the foolish son in the parable, if you say, but I sinned against you, Father, the Lord says, why no? I know you've sinned. I can count all your sins. I can count millions more than you know. But I love to see you coming repentant to me. But if you say, and this one probably hits us harder and makes us feel guiltier and repels us, but I have neglected you, Father. I've stopped praying. Oh yes, I'll forgive you. Come, confess that too. I'm your Father. And then if you feel, but I never have anything good to say to God. All I can ever do is come to God and tell Him that I feel yet again, that I'm weak, that I'm in distress. That's no barrier either. Because God says, I know all that. You're my little child. I'm merciful to you. I saved you when you were totally depraved and haven't done a single good work. So at the very least, now, since you have a new nature, if this helps you any, you must be closer to me. Yeah, I suppose so. Of course. I adopted you. That's a legal thing. Even if you sin, you're still my child. Psalm 103, verse 13. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. And if you feel free of the week, don't worry. You feel that way because you are. And the Lord knoweth our fame. Psalm 103, verse 14. He understands your constitution. He remembers that we are dust. And if you ask, will God really hear me? Then we counter, does a good physical father listen to his children? Well, will your good, perfectly good, overflowing fountain of all good, spiritual father listen to his children? The logic simple, very easy to follow. Lord's Day 46 asks the question, why hath God commanded us to address God thus, our Father? Then immediately, in the very beginning of our prayer, He might excite in us a childlike reverence for and confidence in God, which are the foundation of our prayer, namely, that God is become our Father in Christ. Does this encourage you? Does this encourage you to pray? Knowing this. To pray more. To pray more faithfully. Even to pray now. Inwardly, of course. During the sermon. Inwardly. Should be. And when we feel the prayer is not easy, 
then we should remind ourselves of the help that God provides in the very first two words of the Lord's Prayer, Our Father, Our Father. This, of course, brings up the question of answer. Will God really answer? Answer me. And if you think of that question without scripture, you'll end up tying yourself up in knots and thinking, no, I probably won't. But if you let your mind be guided by the scriptures themselves, then you will be sure that he will, in the way in which he has appointed. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. For every one that seeks, finds. Every one that asks, receives. And to him who knocks, the door is opened. That's what it says. And then Jesus gives another argument. And I'm thinking of Matthew 7 here. What man is there of you? And if his son asks for bread, will he give him a stone? Have any of you seen a father like that? I'd be surprised if you have. Which man of you, if his son asked for a fish, would give him a snake? If ye then being evil, and Jesus can say that too, even of the Christian parent, according to his old nature, if ye then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven good, give good gifts to those who ask of him? So answer 110 says that the Lord will much less deny us what we ask of him in true faith than our parents will refuse us earthly things. And yet after all that, we're very prone to think that our earthly father is more generous than our heavenly father. That if we go to our father and make a reasonable request of our dads, They'll do it, but we're just not so sure about God. If we were to rewrite the scripture, we would say, though your earthly father will give you pretty much what you want most of the time, if it's a sensible, reasonable request, as for the Lord God, well, maybe. We're not sure. We'll just pray and hope that it might happen. That's a hope with our ingredient unbelief. But if we would grasp what it is that God is our Father for Jesus' sake, grasp the address of the Lord's Prayer, we find it easier to pray and we would pray in the right spirit. But then this needs to be said too that some people have been badly treated by their earthly fathers. Their father hasn't been a godly example in Christian life and faith. Or their father has been cruel and abusive to them. And for some people, to hear talk about father hurts them. This can be a very difficult thing to deal with. This can be a problem and a grief that causes distress years and decades later perhaps more especially for girls. But that bad experience should not be let, should not be allowed wrongly to shape your thinking about God who calls himself Father, who is the archetypal and good Father, the perfect Father. And I suppose too it's a matter of degree because no one's earthly Father is perfect not even the best ones and at the best of times. But the point about this father is that he always loves you. He loves you even when he chastises you. And, if it were possible, though it isn't, you would say rather that he loves you more when he chastises you, though of course he always loves you infinitely, but to get the point across. 